Hi there, I'm Kunal and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to dive into another common SAT math question type, equivalent expressions. Equivalent expression problems will usually make you manipulate a given expression and then find out which expression in the answer choices it's equal to. And these questions will usually fall into three categories. Ones that you have to manually solve, ones that you have to use the plug-in strategy for, and ones that I like to call the logic puzzles. So here are some examples of questions that you'll typically have to manually solve for. So you know to manually solve usually when you see two expressions that are being multiplied, added, or subtracted. And if there's no variables, that's also a telltale sign that you're probably going to have to manually solve. So let's take a look at this example problem here. Which of the following is equivalent to 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1? Now to solve this, we're going to have to use a method called FOIL because we are multiplying two binomials together. So FOIL stands for first outer inner last, and it's what you use to multiply binomials. So you're going to multiply the first number of each binomial together, followed by the outer two, the inner two, and then the last two. So if you multiply in this order, you're going to be left with 6x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 2. And then simplifying it, we get 6x squared plus x minus 2. Next up, we have the plug-in method. The biggest sign that you're going to have to use the plug-in method is if you see fractions or terms being divided. So generally, the more complicated it looks, the more likely you're going to have to use the plug-in method. Now, I know I've been talking a lot about the plug-in method, but I haven't really explained what it means yet. So as the name suggests, you're going to take a number and substitute it in for the variable. And then you're going to find out what the value of that original expression is. So now you're going to plug in that same number into each of the answer choices and see which answer choice gives you the same as your original expression. So let's take a look at this example problem here. We're given 2 plus 1 over y over 2 minus 1 over y. And we're also given that y cannot equal 0. So usually when plugging in, the general rule of thumb is you should go with 0, 1, or 2, depending on what constraints it gives you. So in this case, we know that y cannot equal 0, so let's try plugging in 1. So when we plug in 1 for y, we can figure out that the expression is equal to 3. So now let's plug in 1 for each of the answer choices and see what those give us. So a will give us 1 third, which isn't 3. So we're going to move on to b and try plugging in 1. So when we plug in 1 for answer choice B, we're going to end up with 3. So that's how we know the answer in this case is B. The final type of question we have is the logic puzzle. Now this one is when the other two don't make sense to use and the problem involves more constraints or something like that. They're normally problems that you don't really have to do operations for, but you kind of have to think through what the problem is asking and thus the name logic puzzle. So let's take a look at this example. We know that the equation has no solution, and we're given that 1 half y plus 20 is equal to xy minus 2. What is x? Now let's pause and think about this for a second. The question only has one answer, and x has to be something that would result in the equation having no solution. So the only number that would work in this case is 1 half. And this is because there's no such value of y that 1 half times that number plus 20 is going to be the same thing as 1 half of that number minus 2. So we know in this case, the answer is x equals 1 half. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24-7 online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!